Gypsy camps in Greece are rough and dangerous places, often riddled with criminal gangs and deadly drugs. Outsiders are unwelcome and the police won't go there unless they go heavily armed. But Network for Animals and our partners, Ghost Dogs of Aspropagos, must go in because there are dogs in gypsy camps that need all the help they can get. Just ask Hagen. When he was a puppy, Hagen was the plaything of children living in a gypsy camp near Athens. They put a plastic chain around his neck and tied him up and then forgot about him. Somehow Hagen escaped. With the chain still around his neck, he scavenged a living. And when he was rescued by our partners from Ghost Dogs of Aspropagus, he was near death with a choking chain around his neck, deep into his skin, and he was weak and exhausted. He wouldn't have lasted more than a few days. I wish I could tell you that Hagen is an isolated case, but the truth is that dogs in Greece are in terrible trouble. The economic crisis in the country is getting worse, and more and more dogs are being abandoned by desperate owners who can barely feed themselves. And that's why a sunny spring morning found our team standing nervously outside a gypsy camp, negotiating to be let in. We're outside a gypsy camp in Aspropagus. We've been told it's too dangerous to go in, particularly for the girls. Bye. Thank you. Many gypsies have no education and no concept of animal welfare. Dogs in gypsy camps live lives that are nasty, brutish and short. So the men went, and what do you think the women did? They went looking for dogs, of course. You have to be tough if you want to help dogs in gypsy areas. For us, that Saturday was a good day. We found four puppies that had been abandoned, and we managed to vaccinate some dogs and medicate others. Because the situation is so bad, We've stepped up our efforts to help, but we need to do so much more. There are hundreds upon hundreds of dogs in distress in this one area alone. Our volunteers tour the area finding and feeding the dogs, who are so grateful that they appear from nowhere like ghosts, wagging their tails whenever they see our cars. We are their sole hope, and it's only your support that allows us to provide the food and emergency medical attention they need. Hagen is doing fine. He has a huge personality and he's going to make some lucky soul a great companion. But there are so many Hagens and so few of us. So please, donate generously to Network for Animals today.